Imagine having your labor and delivery clinicals at a nursing home. Like how? Hey guys, it's the Bougie Nurse and in this video I'm going to be talking about what to look for when choosing a nursing school, choosing an easy nursing school and how to not get scammed. The number one thing when looking for a nursing school is accreditation. Is this school accredited? There are two accreditation bodies, the ACEN and the CCNE. And basically what they do is they evaluate nursing schools and nursing programs to determine if they are meeting specific state and national standards, which is very, very important. You want to go to a school that's teaching you the right stuff and is updated to the current trends in healthcare because the health industry is always changing. But more importantly, if you do not attend an accredited school, you more than likely will not be able to sit for your nursing licensing exam. And if you can't take the nursing licensing exam, you cannot practice as a nurse. Now, you spent all this time studying and you spent all this time in school and you do not want your time spent to be wasted. Other things you can achieve while attending an accredited school include receiving federal financial aid, receiving transfer credits if you took your prerequisites elsewhere, being able to attend graduate school because many graduate school programs have a requirement that you attend an accredited school. Also, many accredited schools have affiliation with hospitals in their area. So it will be easier for you to get a job after graduation because you've done clinicals there, you may have networked with the nurses and the nurse managers. So an accredited school is the way to go. Now, you also have schools that are not accredited but are approved by the Board of Nursing in your state. And if the school is approved by the Board of Nursing in your state, that means you can sit for the nursing licensing exam after graduation. The issue with going to a school that is only approved but not accredited comes when you're ready to further your education. Many bachelor and master degree programs have a requirement that you went to an accredited nursing school program. I have a very close friend of mine who went to an approved but not accredited school. And he told me out of a class of 13 students, only three of them passed their NCLEX exam. Imagine out of 13 students, only three of them passed and that's because they were LPNs at first. This particular school also had an NCLEX pass rate of 9%. Now, I'm gonna get into the importance of NCLEX pass rate further down the line. I asked my friend, like, why would you go to a school like that? His answer was, the school did not have an entrance exam. Red flag number one. He would have been able to work and go to school at the same time. I believe the entire program was $10,000 and he was already an LPN for five years. So in his head, he believed that he was going to pass the NCLEX. And lo and behold, he did. He passed the NCLEX. He was able to find a school that accepted him when he wanted to do his bachelor's. And he was even able to find a school that accepted him when he went and did his NP. Now, this is a case-by-case -case basis. And I spoke to this friend recently who does not recommend anyone going to a school like that. Which brings me on to the topic of shady nursing schools. Nursing school is very expensive and it is a very big business. That's why you have many nursing schools opening up. You have these schools opening up in malls. I'm sorry to laugh, but you have these schools opening up in malls, opening up in plazas, and you have to be really careful when choosing those types of nursing schools. And I don't wanna bash all those schools that are opening up in malls and plazas, but many a times they're just in it for the money. I almost got caught into going into one of those schools. And at the time, I didn't know any better. I just wanted to get into a nursing program. And this particular school was all online, had no clinicals, and I would graduate in 18 months with an associate's degree. Sounds pretty easy and tempting, right? And this school was approved by the Board of Nursing in my state. And at the time, I was going to school in Florida. So I called my mom, who's a nurse, and I told her about the school, and she completely shut it down. and was like, nope, you're not heading there. 
and luckily for me i had a resource and i had someone to help me out but not many people have that and it's unfortunate this is why i'm making this video and i hope you guys find it very informative i also had a co-worker who was attending an approved but not accredited school and unfortunately for her her school ended up getting shut down by the state right before graduation imagine how devastating that is you have to be very, very careful when going to those approved but not accredited schools. The school should list their accreditation on their website and if it's not posted there, you can call them and ask. Hopefully they don't lie. I'm going to list two websites down below where you can look up the school that you're interested in to see if they are accredited or not. So if it's too good to be true, don't even do it to yourself. Avoid choosing those easy nursing schools that anybody can pretty much get into. Schools end up causing more harm than good. The second most important thing to look at when choosing a nursing school is their NCLEX pass rate. The NCLEX pass rate of the school is the percentage of students that pass the NCLEX on the first try. This is very important when looking at choosing a nursing school because you want to attend a school that's going to set you up to pass. You typically want to go to a school that has a minimum 90% NCLEX pass rate. The higher the number, of course, the better. This will also tell you how you will be prepared for the most important step in your nursing journey and the quality of education you will be receiving. What people don't know is that accredited nursing schools want to have a high NCLEX pass rate. And the reason for this is the higher the NCLEX pass rate, the more funding the school receives. This is why if you are to fail a class twice in a nursing program, they rather fail you out than keep you in because in their head, they're thinking, okay, this person is more than likely to fail the NCLEX. Although that may not be true, this is what the school believes. If they have someone fail the NCLEX, that means their numbers are going down and they're not going to receive as much money as they predicted or want to receive. So they rather fail you out because they ain't trying to fuck up their money, pretty much. Now, you cannot practice as a nurse if you do not pass your NCLEX. So stay away from schools with low NCLEX pass rates. I personally would not attend a school that has an NCLEX pass rate of lower than a 90%, but again, this is a case-by-case -case basis, and you just have to do what works for you. So my school at the time when I was attending, the previous class had an NCLEX pass rate of 94% or 96%. I know it was definitely in the mid-range 90s. And I'm like, okay, so I have a higher chance of passing the NCLEX. This is a school that I want to attend. You're paying a lot of money for nursing school, so you want to make sure you pass. Which brings me on to the next topic of cost. Each program has a different cost associated with it. You want to look at how much is this school going to cost me to attend. Essentially, everybody wants to avoid debt and taking out student loans. But the community colleges and the public schools, which are cheaper to attend, tend to be very competitive when it comes to nursing programs. So just make sure you plan out how much you can afford. Do you have to take out loans? Are you going to be applying for scholarships? Do you make low enough money where you can get financial aid? Take all of that into effect when you are looking at nursing schools and nursing programs. I personally went to a private university and I don't regret it. My first option was a public school and I was taking my prerequisites there. But when it was time for me to get into the nursing program, there was a very long wait list and I did not want to wait a year when I already had everything I needed. So I started looking at other options. I found a private school that accepted everything I had. It was accredited and I just needed to take their entrance exam and then I was in. So you also want to find out about the school you're attending if it has a wait list. Some community colleges have a wait list of up to three years. And then you have those public schools and private schools that have a wait list of one to four semesters. So definitely look into that when choosing a nursing school. Next is class size. Do you need to be in that small intimate setting or does it not matter? I've heard of nursing schools having two, three hundred students. I personally prefer a smaller classroom setting. My school had a cap of 25 students per semester and there are pros and cons to both. So it all depends on what your needs are. All right, so next is the prerequisites and requirements. You want to look up 
what exactly does this school need for me so I can be accepted? One might require you to have a computer course and the other may not. One might require you to have a 3.5 GPA and the other may require you to have a 3.0 GPA. So just do your research so you can better prepare yourself. Let's get into location. I was fortunate enough to have my nursing school 10 minutes away from my house, but I did have classmates who lived an hour away from school. Now, if you're juggling work in school, where you have to go to work after school, or you have to pick up your kids after school, you might wanna factor in travel time as well. In addition to location, you want to find out where your clinical sites are going to be held. So if you're already traveling an hour for school, you might be having to travel an additional hour for clinicals, which will now make your travel time a total of two hours. Remember my friend who I was talking about at the beginning of the video who went to an approved school? So his clinical site was six hours away and it was only for one week. So this school that he attended did not have any clinicals in the hospital. All his clinical sites were at a nursing home. Even his labor and delivery clinical was at a nursing home. Bruh. Imagine having your labor and delivery clinicals at a nursing home. Like how? <laughs> Ugh, let me stop laughing. So compare and contrast different nursing programs that have your interest to come to the best decision for yourself. Okay, you guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you found it informative. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week in the next video. Thanks for watching. Come. <laughs>